Sneaky the next back, yeah. Schools back now, back now. No more hollies. Woo woo woo. Today we're back with What OS7. Yes, What OS7. Based on Ubuntu with LXD. It's the light and green mean Ubuntu machine, baby. Yeah. Pun? Would say? What? What? Oh, sorry. Yeah, anyway. Got carried away there. Anyway, I just told you about it. Really not. Now, What OS as LXD, as you can see, as its basic interface, it does what it says on the tin. Can be used for older machines, comes in 64 and 32 bit flavor. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. And it's quite snazzy and super duper. Now, unfortunately, this time round, I've encountered a few problemos, which are easy to get round, and hopefully, they'll sort them out very soon. Okay? So, we'll quickly go through it with you with what OS? What? What? Oh, yeah, what? Okay. So, you get Audacious Chromium Web Browser and File Manager PC Man FM on your desktop as icons. Remember, you can put whatever icons you want on the desktop, whatever you want to, whenever you feel like it. On the bottom bar down here, we have obviously our shutdown menu, time and date. Here's my record my desktop. That's what I'm using today. I'm not using Voco Screen on this one at the moment. No, no. I use it on the others and sometimes Terminal as well, you know. And also my Ethernet connection there because this is a wired connection as I prefer wired because I'm old and old fashioned. Okay. What we got down here? We've got the What OS Start icon. So yeah, it starts it, it finishes it. Starts it, it finishes it. Okay. Next down there, we have our file manager. So I'll open it up for you. This is a full install, by the way. It's not virtual box, it's on a real machine. So it's super duper. Just to make sure that it wasn't playing up the other day when I done it in virtual box. Okay. Yeah. Because I said, Sneaky, where have you been for the past 10 days? Well, the kids have been off and yeah, I can't do videos when the kids are off. And Sneaky boy keeps moaning at me. Yeah, he does. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Sneaky, it's me. I've got my desktop. It's all in there. A trash can, nothing in there. Applications is there. Yeah, sure is. If I go to help about keyboard navigation, navigation, it tells you all about the keyboard shortcuts you can use in LXD. Yeah, there is some. Yeah, some of you said to me, oh, I can't do this kind of... Well, you can, you see. You can. You can do whatever you like, really. That's enough of that. you get two workspaces here, here, and here. Here, here, and here, and here. Okay, so there's all your desktops. And over here is like left click to iconify all your windows and middle click to shade them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Chrome web browser, as I've said already. We'll quickly go through the memory with you because it's not too long. I've not actually installed too much here, to be honest with you. Accessories, your file manager, a calculator, image viewer, just a few news. Keep your passwords, so keep pass X. It works, does what it's in. Leaf pad is here for doing your leaf pad stuff. Yeah, what version is it? Should be quite new. Yeah, 0 0.8.18.1. Nicey, nicey, lovely. Okay, what else can I show you here, baby? And the graphics. You only get Pinter, okay? All right. It's not my favourite. No, it's not. And ain't, oh, Twitter's time coming up as well. It's not my favourite, but it does what it says on the tin. It does draw any things and stuff. You know, if you don't want to do Gimpage, this will do it for you. No problem. Okay, next, under Internet. Right, what I have installed is Firefox, okay? Yeah, Firefox, that one down there. But I can actually get Chromium, FileZilla, and Transmission as standard. Well, I'll open up Chromium for you. We can quickly go there. That's wrong, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got BBC in. Okay, there. We're going to have a look at the Bubba See what's going down on the Bubba on this nice sunny day. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does what it says. Everything comes up nice. I'm going to quickly check out Firefox as well in a second so you can see what it's like. Okay, we like that. We'll go back down here, here and here, down to the side of the internet, and open the fox up for you as well, just to show you that it all works. Turn this time. Can the hard drives go in this machine? And there we go, we're there. So we go to Bebeka and search. Search, 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 search. We'll go back to Bebeka again, so we get the same page, so you know where we're coming from. Nice. Okay. Quickly go to news. Da, 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 da. Come on, hurry up. Might be the machine, I think it is. It wasn't so laggy. It wasn't no. Anyway. Yeah, so yeah, that's what it says. It comes out okay, Fred. Now my yaga yaga. Okay. Right, what else have we got down here? Well, I've showed you that already. Under Office, you get Abbey Word. That's what it says. And you also get Genumeric. That's what it says. Both current versions, both of it, nice and stable. It will do everything you want it to do, okay? Right, anyway. That's enough of the nice stuff. And really nice, isn't I? Because I normally like WatchOS. I really, really do. But, and there's a big button now, if I go down to system, no, sorry, preferences, and I go to the software updater, for instance, okay? So, 
this is the first bit. It takes quite a while. Oh no, it didn't that time. So I put my password in. There you go. And that might take a while now. But it's done that package information. And I'll just show you what the problem was for me when using it once it's finished it. Alright, it says up to date. So I, I, what actually happens is when you go to upgrade it, okay, let's give it that as well. Go away. When you go to upgrade it, nothing happens. And it's the same over here if I go back to the preferences and I go to software and updates. In theory, it should come up pretty quick. Pretty quick. Pretty, see, it's ain't wrong somewhere on the line. And I don't know where it is. Because it should be up just like straight away. But it's saying stopping it from doing it, and it's not me. Okay. While we're waiting, I'll quickly go here. While we're in preferences, you do get synaptic. So whatever's wrong can be fixed because you've got synaptic. That's no big deal. Or use terminal. It's up to you what you want to do. Whatever you want to do. System tools. We'll go to our task manager. We'll open them up. As you can see, even around the program, or several, see, it's really working there, isn't it? It's really working my CPU. I know I'm recording at the same time, but even running a GNOME 3 end recording at the same time, it doesn't do this. Okay? Right, it's eventually come up. But right, say you wanted to put an additional driver in, okay? I mean, I'm using a new row driver at the moment, okay? Because it does what I want it to do, okay? When you go to apply changes, the box just goes blue and nothing happens, okay? You'll find this if you're in VirtualBox as well. Yeah, so a bit of a problem, yeah. But of course, because we have, okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. Because we have Synaptic Package Manager, which is down here. Put password in. Right for Synaptic, that's nice and quick, see. It's just that, it's a super duper, isn't it? That's what it says. Because we've got Synaptic, we can mark all upgrades and upgrade all your stuff that you want to do. So I'll go to mark all upgrades, for instance, press there, and have a think about it, you know, obviously. Oh, only one to be upgraded, so I'm going to cancel that. I don't want to do it right now, but as you can see, it can be done. Okay, you right, see, it hangs. Now, it's the first time with iOS I had this problem for a little while. Five and six were super of the duper, yeah, they really, really was. But this one seems to not be liking that very much. Okay, anyway, sound and video does come with pulse audio. Woo, woo, super flat guy, like it, lovely. I've installed a sander for ripping my CDs, of course, as you would do. Audacious, as I said, for your music player. It does what it says. A bit plain vanilla. If you want something more flashy, go and get one and do what you want to do. Okay. Okay, more. Of course, I've installed Record My Desktop. Remember, there is others out there to use. There's Voco Screen, which is really, really good at the moment. I mean, I first found it a long while ago, and now quite a few people have started using it because I'm super duper like that. VLC is also here, and also it's XF Burn. Okay. Probably another brilliant burning utility. K3B the other one, but they're both super of the duper. Okay, I'll quickly go back down to preferences for you. As you can see, it's all here. You can do what you want to do. Lovely, it's nice. I like it. But what OS, if this had that little problem with the update manager and stuff like that, I would have given it quite a high score. But unfortunately, I can only give it 85% them two little nickels but they will be sorted very soon so i'm not too worried about it okay but oh what guys sort that out and i want to give you 95 sneaky linux going out i see you later bye bye